fire. Yeah, mom's gonna turn me up. What's up YouTube? It's Elijah One Dream and we're back again with another park video. So today as you can tell we're playing the 1v1 rush event. And first up we're against one of them paint mashing interior finishers. But we absolutely go crazy. I'm on my three level playmaker as you can tell. We got about four gameplays in here. We play an SS3 eventually. There's one gameplay where I play kind of a mom but regardless still a good gameplay and we are trying out a new jump shot here actually. It's actually a jump shot from my team, but it's wet. It is definitely wet. Um, if you haven't noticed, I have been posting quite a bit of my team content as well. Uh, so definitely going forward, there will definitely be a lot of mixed content. I will be posting a lot of my team content and I will still be posting park because I know a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel for park content, but I also do enjoy playing my team and some of these cards that are coming out now are really, really fun and they're extremely OP. Like this pink diamond Eddie Curry that came out, he's a seven foot, 295 95 pound center with an 85 three ball, 87 speed with ball, Hall of Fame quick first step, 95 driving dunk, all like, absolutely insane he's got crazy dribble packages and 83 ball handle so you can speed boost with him you can absolutely dunk on everybody and like for an almost 300 pound center and 87 speed with ball absolutely op you put a shoe on him you can get that up to a 90 and then in takeover he's gonna have a 95 speed with ball so absolutely an insane card and then you're obviously gonna get those uh if you put a shoe on him too for a three-pointer you can get that up to an 88 and then plus five is a 93 and takeover so he's absolutely op and you can get slashing takeover on him too you get all the hall of fame finishing badges so like i said these my team cards that are coming out now are extremely fun to use and if you like saucing up like this just like i do here in the 1v1 event Definitely try my team, definitely try out Triple Threat because it's extremely fun. If you like Park, definitely try out the Triple Threat mode because you can sauce up people just like this. You can ISO up. I mean, there are some pretty cheesy cards out there. There are some Galaxy Opal Ben Simmonses that can shoot and they do play point guard. So it is kind of hard to guard those types of cards. But either way, absolutely pretty fun. I've been, or I've been having lots of fun with it, but... I also love playing this 1v1 event. I love using my 3 level playmaker on this event because if you get matched up with the guard, they seriously cannot keep up with you. You're still insanely fast. You're too big for them. You can get rebounds over them. They get the ball. You can play excellent defense. So here's the gameplay I said. like He's not really great or anything like that. But regardless, we're still going crazy. They are like I was saying there. He can still play great defense on my 3 level playmaker the way that I built him. We get six defensive badges. The six defensive badges that I'm using right here are uh, silver uh, clamps, silver post move lockdown, and silver intimidator, just so I can spread it out, just because you never know who you're going to get matched up against. Could be a guard, could be a paint mashing center like I have in. Boom right there, breaking his ankles too. Hitting the white. I wish I greened that up, but not quite. But either way, we still get our takeover, and it's only 6-2, to two, so that's pretty OP there. But I guess I got two rebounds too, so that definitely helps. Behind the back there, absolutely nasty. So that playmaking takeover also does give you a plus 10 layup, so you do finish pretty easily at the rack in takeover. Even with the long athlete package, you can finish a lot of stuff, even like if it's contested, or it's hard to get contests, I should say. Like people just swing at it just like that and it's really really hard to defend so if you guys haven't used the long athlete package it's easily one of the most op packages it's hard to defend and you finish pretty much right at the net so that's why you can't really get contests and you get nice hop step animations just like that if you don't know already it creates a lot a lot of space now if i had a driving dunk actually you'd be able to easily dunk that that would easily be a dunk but I thought I might be able to dunk in takeover, but I actually can't dunk in takeover because I only have like a 35 driving dunk maybe, so maybe be like a 40, but I do have dunk packages on, but they just never trigger even in the wide open. Right there, breaking the ankles, hitting the full white. 
I actually did not mean to do a turnaround jumper. I wanted to do a turnaround or a spin layup, I guess I should say. Not a turnaround layup. <laughs> that kind of sounds goofy, but absolutely super fun with the playmaking takeover. You can go absolutely crazy with it right there. I hit the full white again. That's that hot zone hunter. And I have an 87-3 right now because I'm only a 97 in all of these gameplays. I have not hit a 99 yet. Right there, I'm doing the exact same move, but that time I dreamed about it. It don't matter. If we go 9 of 11 in the first gameplay, going absolutely nuts. And now we got a little bit more of a better gameplay. Sorry, that wasn't the first gameplay. That was the second, but this is the third. This dude was just absolutely chucking up. I mean, I don't go perfect in this gameplay. I don't go perfect in any gameplay by any means, but once he got the ball back and then he started greening, he started greening like three shots in a row. I got up to 19 points and all of a sudden I just let him. Like, he's just chucking up stuff like that. He wasn't hitting, but once he started greening, then he, he must have Hall of Fame green machine because he just started going absolutely nuts. But right here, I'm kind of chucking it up too, but this is one of my first games playing the event, so I was trying to get used to this jump shot too and trying to get used to just, well, the latency of it and then eventually i did but it didn't matter we can still finish at the rack because he's too small we can create space you have the hall of fame quick first step you're really explosive with it still that's why i use silver clamps as well because you want to get those pickup animations because it really really screws over um the ball handler there and then i gotta chuck up something and then you're pretty much guaranteed to get the rebound unless something wonky happens right there saucing them up again too i kind of like this jump shot he's got a nice like little hitch if you guys want me to drop this jump shot, I easily will, but if you guys want a little hint, it is definitely one of the latest My Team videos that I've done, and so you definitely you can find out which one it is, but it's really easy to green once you get the timing. It's a little bit of a slower jump shot right there. I can't believe I actually hit that white. I would have been mad if I was that guy because he was, well, he was shooting some pretty deep shots, but he was not hitting his whites whatsoever, and I was, but I was like, yup, GG's right here, saucing up again. We're greening up, though. Getting our takeover. Now I'm trying to break ankles. I didn't get, honestly, as many ankle breakers as I would have liked, but I still got a lot of ankles. I just wasn't able to really finish the clips or do exactly what I wanted. See, I do wish I did have a bit of a driving dunk just so I could finish like that, but at the same time, I like the defensive badge spread that I got and the playmaking and the finishing. Right there, saucing them up. I'm starting to use the behind the back a little bit more. It's actually still pretty OP. You can create a lot of space with it. Right here, I'm kind of getting saucy with it. Almost looking like the 2K19 Duke size up. I miss that size up. I don't know if you guys remember the 2K19 kind of Duke size up when like he would dribble back and forth and he would kind of go like side to side and it was really huge. Oh man, I missed that move. That move was actually like super, super fun to do. Then you can't really do that this year, but I was somewhat doing a version of it. But right there with the step back, he sags off too much. Pull up, green, Hall of Fame Deadeye, uh, Hot Zone Hunter popping in there as well. Shot 50% in that gameplay. A little bit of a rough gameplay, but that was our, one of our first games, like I said. Here's the SS3 I was talking about, the two-way, three-level facilitator. So he definitely has a nice build. Right there, I'm getting trying to shoot off the start. I thought he was AFK, but now he starts playing. Luckily, I got the rebound, start going crazy. I'm not sure exactly what was up with this guy, but... He wasn't as good as I thought he would be for some reason, but regardless, we still got some pretty nice clips in here. We do break him a bit, but like I was saying before, I didn't quite finish the clips the way I wanted to, but if I had a driving dunk, I would absolutely love that. But at the same time, the way I made the build is just not possible. But if we were to ever hit legend, I would absolutely love this. It would be absolutely OP. You'd get all the great sh uh, finishing badges, shooting badges, playmaking badges, and defensive badges. The defensive badges would be the best part, honestly, because for these ba or events especially, you could put on gold post move lockdown, clamps, intimidator, rim protector. It would be really hard to score on this build. And then you get that 30 shooting badges, your 30 playmaking badges, and you get 11 finishing, so you can put your fancy footwork, slithery finisher. Oh my goodness. Giant Slayer too, because if you get matched up against a seven foot three post scorer, you can take it to the rack like this. Right there, obviously I'm not gonna make that. Unfortunately, I did not get the rebound, but that's all right. He picks up his dribble right there. So I'm like, yep, you're done, you're dead shoot it up you just have to shoot it but he just took his time i'm not sure what he was trying to do he's actually trying to get a step back in the three-point line but i was like no buddy you're too far you got to get both feet behind so regardless get the ball back you know we're gonna go crazy again we absolutely got to go crazy turn up on this ss3 
I love the new dribble packages I got too. Definitely check out that video there. Right there, I was trying to do a step back, but I accidentally picked up my dribble. I don't know if that has ever happened to you guys, but like, I was tap trying to tap square and do a step back when you use my space creator, but unfortunately, I got a step or pickup animation. But right there, I think this guy honestly doesn't have all of his badges on this build yet, so he's struggling a little bit. But regardless, it's still a defensive build. We're greening up. Oh my goodness. I love the dribble packages on this. This build is seriously so nasty. You can't keep up. You give it a little bit of space. It's a green. It's definitely underrated. Absolutely, seriously underrated. I'm surprised not many more people have actually made this build. And people are going for the stretch playmaker. I really like Duke's new stretch playmaker. If you haven't seen that, he did remake his stretch playmaker build. Definitely go and check out that video. I can't believe I actually broke him off that. I really wish I greened that shot. That would have made the clip 10 times better, a lot cleaner. But regardless, we still made that. And you know, we still got to turn up on this guy going crazy with them right there. I'm going to turn that combo into the behind the back. I'm pretty sure I know how to do that now. But regardless, <laughs> look at this. That's what I mean. The long athlete is just so OP. You can't defend that, especially the guards. I'm too long with it. And then, you know, we got to get a nice game winner here, right? You know, we got to end the video off with a nice little game winner. The step back. Nope. The Hezzy, yup, in his mouth, greening up for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And if you're new, hit that sub button too. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.